Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. So we have started the series in which we are talking about the minimum and the maximum reinforcement in the structural members of the building. And in the previous video, we have already discussed what is the minimum and maximum reinforcement in the columns as well as in the slab. And in this video, we are going to discuss what should be the reinforcement for the beam and for the footings. Okay, so for that, we are also going to take the help of IS 456-2000. But before that, let's recap a few things that we have already discussed. So if you remember that uh, what should be the minimum reinforcement for a column for the longitudinal bars, then comment that in the comment section. And if you are liking this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more such informative videos. So now that you are ready to write the minimum reinforcement for the column in the comment section, we are going to tell you what should be the maximum reinforcement. So it has been categorized into two different cases. In one case that is with lapping, we are going to provide the reinforcement of for the longitudinal bars in columns as 4%. And if you are providing the reinforcement without lapping, then that should be 6%. Now when it comes to the slab, then in that case, the maximum reinforcement should be 4% of the total area. And how to calculate the area? you have to calculate the area by multiplying the breadth of the slab with the overall depth so how to do all these things to go into details you can simply check out the previous video by the end of this video you will find the video link okay now let's talk about the beam so in the beam you have to provide the minimum reinforcement as 0.1 0.2 percent okay 0.2 percent of what the cross-sectional area of the beam suppose you are providing a beam of uh, let's say 250 mm by 250 mm that means a 10 inches by 10 inches beam okay then what should be the area of the reinforcement in that so we will have to do the simple calculation that means the 0.2 percent of the total cross-sectional area so that will be 0.2 divided by 100 into 250 into 250 so that is a simple calculation and you are smart enough to do that so you have to simply calculate that now when it comes to the maximum reinforcement then that is again four percent so this four percent number is common in quite all the structural members like in case of slab it is four percent in case of column with lapping it is four percent and in case of uh, column uh, sorry the beam it is again four percent now when it comes to the footing we have a different perspective so for that we will just check it out but using the is codes so you can see over here i have is 456 2000 and why i am opening slab when i have to talk about the footing that you will know in just a minute so let's uh, read out the clause number 26.5.2.1 that is for minimum reinforcement okay so the mild steel reinforcement in either direction in slab shall not be less than 0.15 percent of the total cross sectional area and however this value can be reduced to 0.12 percent when high strength deformed bars or welded wire fabrics are used what does this mean this means that if you are using if you 250 grade of steel then you can use 0.15 percent of the total cross-sectional area but if you are using a steel of grade fe 415 or fe 500 or higher then you have to go for just 0.12 percent that is enough for the minimum reinforcement okay now about the diameter of the uh, like reinforcement in the slab it is just a division portion so i will just cover this over a single point after that we'll go to the footing okay so the diameter uh, of the reinforcing bars shall not exceed one eighth of the total thickness of the slab i have uh, already shown you how to calculate all these things in the previous video now about the footing we have to go to clause number 34.5.1 so we will directly jump over there so let's go to clause number 34 so we are over here just now okay so you can simply have this is code and if you don't have this is code then you can simply leave your mail in the comment section and i will just provide you this because each and every civil engineer should 
have the highest code also okay now let's see yeah so we have to go to 34.5.1 okay and here it is so why am i so much insisting on this lab because for the footing the minimum reinforcement and spacing shall be as per the requirement of the solid slab so that is for the footing that why and that is why i was so much insisting about the slab over here okay so guys i think this much of the concept is clear now this is just for the minimum reinforcement okay so what we learned from here we learned that even for the footing we are taking the same requirement as the slab that is 0.15% of the uh, total area if we are using fe 450 uh, sorry 415 or higher grade of steel so right now in like in today's world we are using the fe 500 as a minimum grade of steel so you have to just remember the uh, like uh, 0.12% of the total area of the slab that means the cross section area will be calculated and and that will be provided as the minimum reinforcement in the slab however for the information you can just keep in mind that if you are using the like uh, if you 250 then you have to provide 0.15% and for fe 415 you have to provide uh, like uh, 0.12% or even for the higher grade of the steel you are going for like 0.12% of the total cross sectional area for the slab and also for the footing now when it comes to the maximum reinforcement then in the maximum reinforcement there is no like verified limit like in the other cases for beam column and the slab mostly it is 4% but in the uh, like case of footing there is no provision for the maximum reinforcement so that you have to use according to your requirement and how you decide the requirement that depends upon the loading on the structure so if you want to learn how the loading is going to affect the amount of the reinforcement or the grade of the steel then you have to simply leave the uh, question in the comment section and i will make another video on that Okay so guys if you have liked this video hit the like button and if you uh, feel that this is an informative video then share it with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to our channel and if you want to start your career as a building consultant then you will find a free webinar in the um, description box you have to just go over there uh, like what's the free webinar and you can book a free strategy call with us where we are going to guide you how you can start your own consultancy and if you want to take some professional training then you have to simply register on the link given in the description and our team will give you a call thank you